As we all know, Porsches are sports cars meant for driving on the road. Of course, today we have Johnny Silverhand's Porsche, of course, and we're going to turn it into a drift car. Now, I honestly just finished my first and probably it is probably going to be the only playthrough of, of Cyberpunk 2077. It was a good game. I actually quite enjoyed it. And Johnny Silverhand's Porsche is iconic because I believe it's the only car in the game that is an officially licensed car. I believe I could be wrong, but it seems I don't I don't remember seeing any of the other like any other actual cars in that game. So today, of course, we're going to take Johnny Silverhand's iconic Porsche and we're going to turn it into a drift car because that's what Terrible Car Makeover is all about. Turning cars that were never meant to be something into exactly that. And it seems like, and I know, I'm aware, we almost always do drift cars. But that's because most cars in this game are performance-based cars. And what's the opposite of a performance car? A car that goes sideways around every corner slowly. So that's what we always end up doing. But it always ends up working out. Now, I'm tempted, but we're not gonna do it. We're gonna leave it normal. And there we go. We would do Johnny Silverhand proud. That car has almost a thousand horsepower, and that's pretty ridiculous for it being 2,400 pounds. Now, we don't know what Johnny Silverhand would like with his car, but we do know that we like drifting and that the opposite of a sports car is, or a hypercar or a race car is a drift car. So we're going to assume just for today that we're doing Johnny proud by making his original Porsche into a slidey sideways boy. So of course, let's give her a baseline test to see how she does going down the mountain. Now I think it would be hilarious. Oh boy, I have screwed this up right away. Let's restart this. Now I think it would be hilarious, as I say, I'm not screwing it up this time, to get my new personal best going down the mountain in this car just because I think it's funny. But we'll count this as a baseline and see how this car does. Man, I'm having a hard time and there may be a reason for that. But we're gonna give this guy a run down the mountain to see if it works well, uh, give it a baseline test, and then we'll go to some other places and see what it can do. Now, the reason I'm having a hard time, the reason I think I'm having a hard time is because the engine is in the back of a Porsche. Most Porsches are rear engine, actually I think, uh, no, there's some that are front engine, I'm pretty sure, but uh, when the engine is in the back of a car, it puts more weight back there. And of course, more weight on the rear tires means more grip, and it's you're trying to slide more weight sideways it causes it to have more inertia and it's it's a little bit tricky sometimes especially in real life maybe not so much in the game but it does seem to be that most rear engine cars don't drift as well as front engine cars do in this game so far from what i've noticed i mean i drift a lot but i don't think it's anywhere as near as bad as it would be in real life man i'm having a hard time getting my thoughts together now, I'm not gonna lie, this video may be an excuse for me to use music from Samurai just in the video because I like all of their songs. I honestly really do like them, but keep that a secret. This guy does have potential. It's not half bad. I think we're, what, 30,000 short of my personal best? Oh, uh, yeah, yep, pretty much 30,000 short. This thing is actually quite fun to drift as long as you don't overdo it. If you drift, I mean, my favorite type of drifting is typically the stuff that gets you around corners quicker uh, than showing off and like going full, full blown sideways. That's, I mean, that's definitely how you get more points and it looks better, but it handles, I like handling the car a little bit better, which means not fully going sideways, just ever so slightly going sideways keeping those rear tires spinning and the car basically just pointed where you want to go mostly. Less angle of attack, I think, is what it's called. I don't know. I'm not a professional drifter. I just do it in video games. Now let's go to my least favorite drift zone, but also one that I like to hit a lot just because it's challenging. Uh, this, I don't like the hills in this. I don't like the elevation change is what I should say. Just the up and down to this, this freaking course is not fun to me i don't like going up and down and all the fences and stuff it's just annoying not a fan but it is fun to challenge it's fun to hit and try and get a better score on and uh, i have not successfully done it since i set my original pb i think we did another video here and i'm pretty uh meh, maybe we did beat it but either way i've not beaten it since and i do play this game fairly regularly this corner right here is the biggest pain gotta hit it right and then there's just the freaking yeah anyway you see you see what i'm talking about you know actually not as bad in this car as i thought it was gonna be 178 what's our pb 
187. Nice. We'll hit it this direction one time, see how it does, and then we'll go somewhere else. You know, every time I say just one more time, I'm always lying. So don't count on that as being true. Much easier to hit that corner from this direction. Try not to slide the car off the map or off the road. The zone, whatever. 178 again. You know what? We'll call it. Back to back, same score. That's probably as good as we're going to get without uh, practicing for like an extra hour. Now, my either my favorite or my second favorite is this one, the Las Dunas one, just because it's so like smooth. It's it's one or two next to obviously the mountain one, but I do not know which one is which. It it just depends on the day, really. Now, one of the other reasons why I enjoy doing these scores of videos as of late is it gives me the uh, what do you call it, the ability, the time, the chance, whatever. It gives me the reason, honestly. To stretch my creativity when it comes to making my thumbnails. I don't know if you've noticed, but ever since my Lamborghini Cyan video, uh, I've been using Photoshop, and Photoshop is super easy to use compared to like other programs in a similar nature facility, whatever, with the same abilities. Photoshop is super easy, super smart. You can just click something, and it will usually grab an outline of like the entire car. Makes it super easy. And uh, I like to flex my creative muscles, making thumbnails. What are we at? 216? That's actually not far off, right? 231. Yeah, we only needed 15k more. You know what? We'll hit it once more in each direction, I think, from here. Then we'll go somewhere else. I don't want to spend a boatload of time on each one because it gets boring and I... Uh, yeah, it's boring for me. It's boring for you, probably. That and usually I end up cutting out a whole bunch of it anyway. Okay, so we got 208,000 there. This direction is definitely the better direction. Come on, baby. You, you can do it. You can do it. Oh. Keep her going. Nope. No, sir. So since it's basically going to be the same here and there and everywhere, uh, what we can focus on is that this thing makes some of the more difficult ones easier. I don't know why. I, I just don't know why, honestly. Let's hit one more drift zone. And this is going to be one that I don't do very often because I hate off-road drift zones. But, you know what? Might as well give her a shot. Now, my personal best here is 240,000. Okay, and we missed the first checkpoint for the drift zone because I am really good at this game sometimes. There we go. We should be able to beat the PB on this guy just because... Uh, I didn't try really hard. I just wanted three stars, and I don't think I've done this more than once. At least, not on purpose. I hate off-road drift zones. They're such a pain. Not to mention this car doesn't make it easy either, because of the extra weight on the butt of it. it oh! Doesn't turn. Doesn't turn. There's no weight on the front tires to turn it. And off-road, of course, that means we have no grip on the front tires at all. Which is bad news, bears. We saw this dude earlier. I'm pretty sure we saw that same dude earlier. Okay, so going downhill is optimal for off-road drift zones in this car specifically, apparently, because you lose all of your turning everywhere else. Good to know. Oh, come on, baby. I wonder if we can squeeze another 40k, 30k, whatever. Damn it, I hate this. <laughs> I really do hate this. This is torture. And it's super ugly to watch. Which is why I have decided that we're not doing it again. Oh, look at that. Hallelujah, we beat it. Nice. We did get a new personal best with Johnny Silverhand's Porsche. And I think it was worth it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.